Hello, everybody out there on YouTube. We are the Middle Age Guys, and we're going to be bullshitting about the Switch again. Yes, I know it sounds old, but look, we're less than a week away. It's going to be here this coming Friday, March 3rd. So we're just going to go ahead and talk about the launch and what to expect for it. Let's get the introductions out of the way. I'm the Reverend. The theme here. And Gray Mouse One. One of the things that, um, you know, all the way coming through the last few weeks, especially since we were past the official, uh, the official reveal, which happened back in, like, uh, I believe, um, December, or excuse me, October, and then there was, you know, news that came out in January and everything. And there's been details for the Switch coming out. The Day of Reckoning is at hand. This coming Friday is March 3rd, uh, 2017, and it will be released worldwide. Um, and people who were fortunate enough to go out of their way and actually pre-order it uh, have something to go ahead and look forward to. Now, there are a few details, you know, even up to this minute that have been popping up, like things like uh, the fact that these are the things that uh, you can expect with the Switch. These are the things that aren't going to be there. These are the things that you might think about picking up. These are the things that you're not going to be able to buy. Um, and what we're going to do in this particular video here is that we're just going to go ahead and run down the list for a little bit. And we're going to give our thoughts on this upcoming launch and our take on what people may expect from it. All right. Uh, let's get the perfunctory things out of the way. The Switch as we know it is coming out at $299.99. It's going to go ahead and it's going to um, include all of the, uh, your, your, your tablet, your Joy-Cons, a Joy-Con grip, HDMI cable, and the dock. That's what's going to be there for uh, $299. It's not going to include a game, all right? Uh, the games that are going to be available at launch so far is that you have 1-2 Switch, Fast RMX, Just Dance 2017, Human Resource Machine, I Am Setsuna, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Little Inferno, Shovel Knight, Skylanders Imaginators, Snipper Clips, Super Bomberman R, and World of Goo. Um, half of those titles that I just named off are going to be available only through the uh, online through the eShop, e Nintendo eShop, of, of which you're going to be able to go ahead and uh, actually, right now, if you go in out of your way, you can register your Nintendo account. And if there's a, a handle or username that you want to make sure that you've you've reserved, uh, you can go ahead and do that right now. You could also uh, on the Nintendo the Nintendo account uh, uh, account page, you can also link up your Nintendo ID if you happen to have a Wii U or a 3DS, where you have any sort of um, eShop purchases and everything else, you can link up your ID. So um, I don't know if this, that's going to help them, you know, uh, cross-platform things, uh, whether or not you, there are purchases that you've already, uh, you've already made or anything like that. But, yeah, that stuff is in place. Now, the, the one thing that they don't have, admittedly, is that they don't have a very big launch lineup. And at this moment in time, they have confirmed that the virtual console – the ability to go ahead and play um, backwards compatible classic consoles like the Super Nintendo or the NES or the, the Genesis or even the Game Gear, the TurboGrafx-16, all the stuff that they've had on the other versions of Virtual Console that's out for like the Wii U or 3DS, none of that stuff is going to be available at launch. It's going to be added later. Um, what are you guys' thoughts on that as far as game offerings for the Nintendo come March 3rd? Well, the thing about it, as far as it offering games and things like that, you know, um, there's not, there hasn't been like a perfect launch for a console. So, okay. Um, ever since, in my opinion, a Dreamcast. So I can let the launch slide. What I'm really, really worried about is not only the games, but the features that they're going to try to either tack on or try to force down our throats that has Credit to do with game. Say again? Credit card slot. Credit card slot. No, no, please don't let that fucking, I was, 
every time I set the credit card slot, I was always kidding and being facetious and and just growing garbage out there. But that better not come true. It it just better not better not be a peripheral. So you can scan your phones on it or whatever in order to renew your service or to download certain things that better not happen. <laughs> but look, most important aspect is games. But now, ever since the announcements with the Breath of the Wild and, you know, it's going to have like DLC and, you know, expansion passes attached to it. What other games is that going to happen with? That's one of my biggest concerns right now. Seriously, if I have to purchase a Vario suit for Metroid, I'll be pissed. Mm, I hope things don't go that far. I mean, uh, you know, we've, we've had a discussion about DLC wait, before. You're lucky, and the, wait, you're lucky you're, you don't have to purchase the Master Sword. Yeah, you know, um, I, I, I don't think they would go that far. But... I'm going to stop stop short of saying that I completely believe that for the fact that, uh, yeah, like a lot of other people, when I heard that uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild had a DLC in the season pass, I was disappointed, very disappointed to a point, okay? Um, but my stance on DLC and stuff like that, you know, if, if it actually adds something extra, like I said, if it doesn't commit one of the three cardinal sins of DLC, it's on disc already. Um, it turns into a microtransaction pay to win, or if it means that I have to go ahead and get it to get a real fucking ending to the game. As long as it doesn't do those three things, I'm, I'm usually cool with it. Okay. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I don't want to go ahead and be, be the dead horse on that. What about you, Grey Mouse? What are your concerns as far as the, the games that are being offered at launch and the fact that it's not going to have a, a, a virtual console? <sighs> I have nothing bad to say. I'm just waiting for my uh, Switch to come in the mail on Friday. And uh, I will be playing The Legend of Zelda. Waggling Joy-Cons. Waggling Joy-Cons. Yeah, until you, you know, are out in the open in the free world. And then next thing you know, a paywall shows up. I I haven't heard any word of that happening to any of the any of the That's review surprise. stuff. Neither neither has it showed up in any of the extended gameplay videos that are out there. Okay, they they have gameplay videos that are out there that are available to see that are upwards of two hours long. So I haven't seen yeah, anything like that pop up. The, yeah, they didn't get the hour number three. <laughs> yeah, there's uh there's certain sites that's already done reviews or sort of reviews. Uh, IGN, one of them, uh, they already done five hours into it and uh what everybody what i'm getting from it from everybody is that the game's hard it's not your traditional zelda and um zelda was never really easy no no it's it's people are saying it's it's you die a lot ocarina of time is was easy i will say that right off the bat oh, okay. ocarina of time was really fucking easy okay and you know it's no just like Mega Man 2 was really easy, and people say that that's the best classic Mega Man 2, all right, I, I'm, I have no surprises that people sit there and say that the Ocarina of Time is the best one. But it, it was a great game. Now, my reserves with all of the stuff that's going on with the launch, uh, launch lineup and everything else, honestly, I've said this before, it looks anemic, all right? It looks really, really light, especially considering that they have, like, 12 titles, of which I think seven of them are physical, and five of them are, are download or digital only. It, it sounds really bad, but um, I will go ahead and put it in context that there have been other consoles out there that have launched with much better lineups, much bigger offerings um, at, at launch. I'm thinking Sony and, system has done that. Um, uh, but I, I was about to I was about to continue on. You know, uh, there there have been other other. Um, other consoles that have launched with that have had bigger launch lineups, but that isn't always an indicator that that's going to do very well as far as the console goes. All right. The Dreamcast had an epic fucking launch lineup. Its first month was goddamn packed. Okay. Literally like 18 physical titles within the first two weeks and that it, 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 mean, it released. Titles, with. And most of those titles basically had every genre on lock. 
yeah, and they had everything covered, you know. Um, but you know, we unfortunately we know the story. At the end of everything, it sold only a little bit more than thirteen million, and it's considered financially a failure. All right, um, it's also Sega's last console, so a big launch lineup doesn't always uh, equate to instantaneous success. Now, the the thing with the with the virtual console is that if they get to it sooner or later. That's nice. I'm not going to miss it. You know why? Because I have a cell phone. I have a PC. I have a 3DS. I have a PSP. You know, I have multiple ways to go out of my way and play classic NES, SNES, Genesis, Turbo Graphics, even fucking consoles I don't even own. All right. And I can play them in different regions and different languages in at least half a dozen different avenues. So personally, myself, I'm not going to miss that. If it comes up and it's something that they're going to offer later on, hey, great, you know. Now, you know, that, and that's one of the things that a lot of people are kind of complaining about. I understand, but guess what? If you haven't, I don't want to sound like an elitist PC master race asshole, all right? But if you haven't figured out how to do emulation <laughs> on your PC, and guess what? A lot of this stuff that's a lot of the better emulators out there They'll run on a fucking 486, all right? You don't even need a beast of a machine to go out of every way to put it together, all right? And if you're really, 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 you know, looking for something that's, like, as easy as unzipping it and putting it in a folder someplace, you probably torrent a whole fucking library for, for a console, um, you know, and have it in your, on, your, on your computer in less than 30 minutes. Um, it's, it's one of those things where it's, like, if you, if you really haven't figured that out, well, then, you know, your disappointment with the Switch not having a virtual console is your own disappointment. Did you get rid of your Wii U? Did you get rid of your 3DS? Because <laughs> if that's the case, you know, well, yeah, your disappointment is something that, that you brought upon yourself. Um, but that's not to say that uh, games or alone is the only thing that people are going to be concerned about. Um, you know, one of the things that I saw over the last week was that there was a video, actually a lot of uh, websites and uh, a lot of, um, there are a few YouTubers were putting out, uh, they were either saying, okay, these are the things that you want to buy along with the Switch, or they, the most retarded thing is that they frame it in a way that these are the hidden costs of the Switch, all right? <laughs> these are the things that you don't know you're going to have to go ahead and buy, all right? Um, and I will say this right off the bat. I don't know anybody out there. I don't know anybody out there who's buying a system for themselves who goes, goes ahead and walks into their local Walmart or GameStop or Best Buy, or whatever retailer it is, and they sit there, they go in, and they say, yeah, give me that brand new Sony system. All I want is a system. Do you want any games? No, all I want is a system. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead, and I'm going to hook it up, and I'm going to stare at the browser. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I don't know anybody who does that, all right? It's funny because <laughs> there people have done that that said, okay, I want it. And yeah, it's going to be my DVD player. You know, for, for that particular purpose, maybe. All right. Shit, even go back, going back is to the Wii U, if you wanted another Netflix box, if you couldn't sit there and watch it on your fucking phone, you can go ahead and use that, use it for that. <laughs> um, but the, there, there's a couple of things that you're probably going to want, want, you know, when you go ahead and get a Switch, if you're somebody who, who went ahead and did a pre-order. Um, things to go out of your way and consider is probably if you, if you don't want to get an extra set of Joy-Cons, all right, then guess what? You don't have to worry about the Joy-Con, uh, the charging grip. So that's 80 bucks and another uh, 30 bucks right there that you don't even have to worry about. Other things that you probably are going to be interested in, if you're somebody who's going to go ahead and take it on the, on the go, a carrying case, really fucking simple. Those things run anywhere from ten dollars to forty bucks, depending on on the type of carrying case that you have. Um, you can run anywhere on on Amazon to go ahead and uh, get a hold of that. And the only other thing that I think may be required outside of uh, a, a game to actually be able to play is a, a micro SD card for uh, additional storage and everything like that. Thankfully, well, big. Well, here's the thing about that. Thankfully, <laughs> standard. <laughs> Uh, standard uh, micro SD cards, um, you know, SDSC cards, you know, a 64 gigger will probably run you like 20 bucks. A 120 gig, uh, gig card will run you like 30 bucks in most, most cases. 
if you're searching around Amazon or any other site that's out there, you can find them as big as 256 uh, gigs, and you can find them as low as like for a 200 gig card as low as seventy dollars. So they're not pulling a Sony Vita here with this <laughs> fucked up M2 memory card. Okay. Not yet. Um, no, they're they're not going to. All right, they're not the ones. They don't have a stranglehold on who controls this shit. So thankfully, that's not going to happen. That um, doesn't stop gaming companies before. Uh, it only stops them if nobody else is out there and able to go ahead and uh and make and manufacture um memory and things like that or or what's that uh, accessories. Okay, uh, give you a prime example. The PSP, the Sony Memory Card Duo, when that first came out, was expensive as fuck. At the time that the PSP Go came out, the Memory Card Duo, the patent on it had expired, so third-party um, manufacturers could go ahead and make it. All of a sudden, you could find Memory Card Duo adapters for like less than, than five bucks. Um, usually, you find them as little as two dollars a piece, and you could shove two thirty-two uh, gig uh, micro SD cards in it, and you had a sixty-four gig card. And if you modded your PSP, it was a magical fucking device, and you do a whole bunch of things with it, right? Um, with this particular one, thankfully, look, if you're going to go out, out of your way and you're going to buy the Nintendo brand micro SD card, just like they had uh, Nintendo brand SD cards for the Wii and the Wii U, you're going to be paying out the ass for that white little card with a Nintendo symbol on it. But if you're going out of your way just to buy, uh, pick up any micro SD card, then you're going to be able to save yourself some cash. That's just that's just the truth of the matter. You know? I mean, what do you guys think? Of, I, I know you're getting one, Grey Mouse. What are you thinking about getting alongside of it other than Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild? What else is there? I, I have this vision. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I've seen Theme do it. <laughs> Why? Oh, God. <laughs> what else is there? There's nothing else that matters. Look, you're, you're lucky that Zelda is a launch title. <laughs> yeah, actually, that, I'd, I'd that, say I mean, that he look, is. Look, not just, not just Grey Mouse, but m- m- most of the fans here. Because... I don't think Mario Odyssey would have just would have cut it. Even though it, as good as it looks, I don't think it would have cut it as far as saying that this is a system to get. Yeah. But for the uh, peripheral thing, I mean, I've I've thought about getting the um, the charging grip, but. Um, the S controller is going to be a must-have. Well, for certain games, yeah. So yeah. I'll probably end up getting that as well. Um, but other than that, I'm just just waiting for the system to come out. Um, and like like we said in other videos, Dude, actually, wait a minute. is Breath of the Wild Amiibo compatible? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. In yes. fact, I think the. There's a whole line of like Link and uh, because Amiibos that are that are pretty much available. <laughs> look, I think that every Switch game should be Amiibo compatible. Well, the uh, like the um, Wolf Link that's actually going to be compatible. You can put that on there. You actually can play alongside you through certain things. Um, and then there's also the I think the four or five uh, Amiibos that. Uh, Specific for that game, so of course, you know, with me and all my amiibos, I'm going to have to get those as well. But uh, like you said, the the S controller is definitely going to have to be a, a, a what do you call it, a must have for me. Um, and then you know, I'm I've been looking at the Bomberman one. Uh, I mean, I think that would be a great party game. But other than that. I'm just yeah, waiting. This better not have any slow gameplay. You know what? I, I would I would have to say anything is better than the um, anything is better than what they put out on the the Xbox 360 a few years ago with what was it Bomberman Reborn or whatever the fuck it was. That, that was shit that was horrible. Was yeah, that shit was boring and it was slow. Look, just take it back to the Super Bomberman on an SNES. Just take it back to that. 
and call it a day. Okay. And and look, again, I'm going to play devil's advocate here, and I'm going to do the wishing game once again. If the Switch gets certain games, then I'm going to throw my fucking wallet at Nintendo. It's just that simple. If Nintendo secures some third-party titles and that go nowhere else, somehow, some way, then... Again, I'll be like, yeah, wallet, yeah, no, just keep it for a bit. Yeah, it's all there. Just give me the games and give me the system. I, I mean, come on, let, let's face it. What would you like to see on the Switch? As, as far as saying a gaming franchise or, you know, certain companies just reviving shit to be on the Switch specifically. I would like to see come back, namely uh, Sakodin stuff that stuff like that would be nice. Uh, some Square Enix stuff would be nice as well. Another Mario RPG. Mm, I think something along the lines of Paper Mario is probably in the works already. I, I wouldn't be surprised if it, if it Paper wasn't. Paper Mario, yeah, but a Mario RPG would be fucking epic. Yeah, yeah. Years, you know, or or something along the lines of like, um, you know, uh, the Mario Luigi Luigi uh, saga of games mm -hmm. they they put out on the GBA and also on the on the DS and and, and 3DS uh, coming up. I, I'm I'm pretty much expecting something like that to show up. What I would like to see, um, just off the top of my head, is uh, a brand new WarioWare. I would love to see a brand new WarioWare. Yeah, um, definitely that. Yeah. Uh, Suda51, uh, during the Switch unveiling event, the, the big one that they had, um, even though it was really hard to sit there and understand him through the, the horrible trans, uh, translator and the, the fact that the translator couldn't keep up with him, but he said that he was going out of his way and he was hoping to make another um, game with uh, Travis Touchdown from, from um, <laughs> No More Heroes. If they make another No More Heroes game, I will definitely be picking that up. Because I would love, the to, first, I would love to see another beautiful, beautiful Joe. Yeah. I mean, the first, the first two uh, No More Heroes I absolutely loved. Beautiful Joe, though, as far as that goes, I don't know if Capcom is even going to touch that. I would hope that they would. That's what I mean. Um, that I, if they do, that would be great. Um, another Clover Studios game that I, I would hope to see um, but may not ever see the light of day ever again, which which is a complete shame. Is um, is Okami another Okami title? You know, they went ahead, they put out Okami, they they put it on the PS2, they put out another version for the Wii, and then they also did Okami Den for the um, the the DS. But after that, it was like nothing. All right, well, absolutely nothing. I mean, along those same lines, Reverend, I would love to see another Legacy of Kane. Do you do you want uh, what about Bayonetta three? Switch, you know part if, two, part two went for the Wii U. Yeah, I mean, I would like to see I would like to see another one of those because uh, the thing is, Kamiya, as far as it goes, um, the Bayonetta style games, the the, the DMC style games, uh, are is a type of thing that Platinum Games is known for as far as putting those things forward and everything. Um, if they were to, if they were to put that out, that would definitely be on my list of things to get, you know, I, I think the, the one thing that we, we are, we would want to hope for, because I'm looking at the list of what they have uh, announced out so far. And pretty much they have the first 12 games that are available on March 3rd. And then sometime in the spring, like March, April time, they have, um, Let's see here. Arms, Has Been Heroes, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Puyo Puyo Tetris, and Snipper Clips, right? Um, and then in the summer, they have Rhyme and Splatoon. Then everything after that is to be determined. So there's, there's another like 15, 15 to 18 titles that, are, that are, have been announced and have been confirmed, but they're all for to be determined late 2017 or maybe early 2018. The one thing that I want to see, and this is, you know, um, 
stepping away from like specific titles and things like that is that I, I want to see them go out of their way to regularly release games uh, on a regular basis. It doesn't have to be a lot of games. They just have to keep on releasing them. Okay. Don't, you know, don't sit there and, and have like this two month gap where it's like, Oh, we're just going to drop like two or three titles every, uh, you know, every right. two months. No, I, I mean, give me something every fucking two weeks. All right. Even if it's just one title. All right. Give the fans, give the, give the people who are picking up the system something consistent to look forward to. Okay. Whether or not it be physical, whether or not it be digital, just keep on bringing out those fucking games. Don't, yeah, don't have a don't have a gap where you don't see anything for a while. That will totally mm-hmm. devastate this system, no matter when it takes place. Yeah, and yep. and 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 I would like to see Nintendo part- participate in this year's E3 and show us what they got. You know, I mean, come on. We already know what they're going to be coming out with, but fuck, man, if they come out with, if they come out E3 swinging, or especially for some sh- first party shit that we know is going to eventually end up on there, that we're going to be looking forward to, like a Kirby, like a Metroid, like a maybe a Kid Icarus, or or fucking like you said, a warrior where warrior world will be fucking awesome. Warrior where on the go against people. How awesome would that fucking be? If especially two or four players is done right. Yeah, I mean, warrior where online. A warrior where on the Wii was it's fucking awesome. If you ever get a chance to play it with people, I mean, it, it, it's awesome. You know, um. Was there anything you, Grey Mouse, I saw you like shaking your head and you, you smiled like you had something to hit you like a bolt out of the blue. Mm-hmm. Are you, like you wanted to interject something. No, I was just laughing at theme. That's all. <laughs> I know what happened. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the I, I'd have to say, you know, um, to, to wrap this particular one up, there's a lot of things, there are a lot of expectations that a lot of people have uh, coming up with every brand new console launch. Go ahead, I say, wait, wait, wait. Hard drive support. If it's all a possible, Nintendo, you it, come on. Everybody has their concerns about the memory of this thing. Yes, there's going to be the micro SD cards, and don't do that fucking Vita shit. Don't fucking do that. Please, don't have your own designated cards for this thing to be compatible with it. Don't no, that will that will totally kill any momentum that you may move forward with. Um, don't make expansion packs or downloads as big as the fucking games. Don't do that. Um, yeah. Fucking no. Just just steer away from the BS that all these other systems and games do. You know, you can do your own thing, but you can still satisfy the fans at the same time. You can still go, be in a great grace of gamers all at the same time. Please, just damn. I mean, you have all these companies that take polls, and we don't see if they actually matter. Sega has done its polls. Konami has done their polls. You, you know, Nintendo. Please, you, you got to understand that. There are people out there that want certain things. And the answers are right in front of you. Breath of the Wild, congratulations. You basically hooked, line, and sinkered a whole bunch of motherfucking people. You, like the Reverend said, keep coming out with games. You have to keep going and you have to keep moving forward. That's just, yeah. If you put Power Stone 3 or Rival School and or Rival Schools 3 on this fucking console, I'll buy it. It's just as simple as that. Seriously, just bring out some fucking great games. Oh, yeah. Look, I've been waiting for that for years. No, you did that too well, man. I'm doing good. <laughs> Look, again, <laughs> hey, we haven't seen a sequel to those in decades. I don't care. So, fucking, please. <laughs> a, 3D, uh, a 2D Metroid. Again. You have that, just don't have no fucking 
stupid DLC to that, and I'll be absolutely fine. Because if I have to buy the speed boost, fuck you. I would not get that. No. If I have to ask permissions to do everything once again, I've never played other M, but asking permission for you to have shit that you that's already on your fucking arsenal? No. And scared of Ripley? Oh no, 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 no. Let's not go through that again. Yeah. Or Ridley, rather, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Ripley, I <laughs> Yeah, I no, I think I think Samus beats out uh, Sigourney Weaver in a loader suit any day of the week. To be completely honest, I with don't you. know that that'd be a good competition right there. Dude. I don't know. The other M, no, she doesn't. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, you know uh, that that that's uh, that's something else. But you know, I, I, there's there's a lot of things that we we definitely have a huge wish list uh, for the system, and it's because we're looking forward to it. We want it to see it. Everybody in this video wants to see. Um, we're going to see what happens, whether or not everything lives up to the hype come March 3rd, this coming Friday. You know, and we want to see what you, if you follow this video all the way up until the end, what you think about uh, what you expect for the Nintendo Switch launch coming to this third. Did you pre-order it? Were you one of the people who were able to do it? Or are you going to be just like every other MOOC searching the corners of retail to see if you can go ahead and get one or maybe it doesn't maybe it doesn't really matter to you we want to hear that you know go ahead and leave us a comment below while you're at it go ahead hit that like button hit subscribe we really appreciate it um you know that's basically what we what we want out of this this is our thoughts on the upcoming nintendo switch launch march 3rd 2017 worldwide brand new nintendo system Dogs and cats falling out of the sky, marrying each other. All right, and all that other good what, are they apocalyptic. Kissing the way down? Yeah, you know, you know, and, and you have what is it? Cuppies. Yeah, and, and by the time they, they, by the time they hit the floor. Okay, um, yeah, and all that other apocalyptic Ghostbusters shit. You know, <laughs> <laughs> with that, with all awesome. these guys, <laughs> we've been bullshitting about the Switch Lodge for the last. Almost 40 minutes, folks. Our bullshit on that ends here. I am the Reverend. The theme here. Grey Mouse 1. Once again, for the benefits of Common Sense Logic and Cuppies. Cuppies, dude? That sounds like a new identity for fucking animals. Humans are doing it. They're identifying as other things. Identity politics turned into identity gymnastics. Cuppies, oh my god. Yes, I've seen a guy walking a cat before, but yeah, yeah. Once again, for bit of the comments of logic and gaming, <laughs> come on, Switch. Do your first year, your first year is the most important year. By year number two, we got to see fucking great ass games, features that continue, come on, and less BS that the others do. Please credits what sort of sound would the cuppy make i know the the cat does nyan do nyan i'm trying right? to do that I, 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 no you know puppies go bow wow cats go nyan nyan would a cuppy uh, go uh, beyond beyond uh, uh, the bow meow meow wow <laughs> <laughs> If I see cats burying bones in the backyard, 